He is enough. Allah is for everyone. Most importantly, Allah is yours. We look at the world and think that how Allah responds to others, He will respond to you too. We feel that the connection they have with Allah is evident that they are closer to Allah than you. What that truly does mean is that it makes you feel that Allah is everyone else's but not mine. But in reality, Allah is everyone's because it is He who created everyone, everything and everywhere. So when you intentionally call upon Allah in your silent hours, in your heart, know that no matter how softly you say your words or how silently your tears speak of your pain, it is all being heard by your Allah. Nothing you do or feel is hidden from Him. So when you pray to Him, even though you know he knows everything you have to say to him speak to him so that not only you hear your own cries but so does he most people say he already knows what I feel so what's the point he already knows what I need so what's the point of praying the point of praying using the whole of your being is what we need to focus on. It means that the whole being, which means activating the whole of your body to be in submission to him. Your mouth needs to say the words. Your ears need to listen to the words. Your eyes need to cry to him and your body needs to feel being submitted to him, to the divine, as you bend down in sajda to your Allah. When you are in sajda, he is with you, in you and all around you. He hugs you, he makes himself felt. He waits for you to be in sajda and not just the sajda of your eyes, ears, mind, soul, body but the sajda of your heart. When your heart is in sajda to its Allah it is then you awaken the whole of your being to him. You stand vulnerable with your heart in submission to his mercy, to his love. When the heart is in sajda, your worldly desires completely vanish and the only desire that remains is to keep him happy. All you want to think of is how can you make your Allah happy and to do that you have to connect to him daily through all of your senses. You have to daily say something beautiful about your Allah to yourself and to others. You have to eat something, anything that you want consciously and thank your Allah for allowing you to taste something that you couldn't if he did not allow it. You have to daily hear something from his book to let the light of his love enter your being. You have to connect to Allah and send gratitude to Him daily for all that you are able to do to remember Him and thank Him for His blessings. Coming closer to Allah is not a one-day exercise. It is that what you need to build in your daily routine so that you can connect to Him regularly. See all that praises him. Hear all that speaks of him. Smell the flowers or fragrance that reminds you of his essence all around you. Use your body to do something that will please him every day. 
when all that you do is to please Allah, all that happens is that your Allah is pleased. The sign to know that your Allah is pleased with you, He will make you do the things that please Him with ease and regularly. He will make Himself felt through people, quotes, videos, messages, signs in the universe to remind you of His presence. When you feel His presence through all of your senses, know that your Allah is close to you. He is happy with you because now your whole being feels Him, knows Him and is awakened to Him. You are aware of His presence not only by the feeling but through your body, through your heart, through your mind, through your eyes, through your hearing, through your smell, through your taste. All your senses are awakened to His presence. It is then when you get so close to Him, your worldly attachments become insignificant and you rise into doing every single action as a way of your ibadat, as a way to please Allah, to get closer to Him. He becomes your friend. He becomes your guide. He becomes your teacher. He becomes your healer. He becomes your guardian. You lose the desire to compete with others and compare yourself with others. For you know that your Allah is standing with you, right next to you in every single minute. And all that you want to do is to follow his path. Follow his path to him, for him. For to him you belong and to him you will return.